Yo boys, I'm back with another gaming laptop review. Thank you Asus ROG Philippines for making this possible. And speaking of possible, posible na din pala maging sobrang lipis at magaan ang isang powerful gaming laptop. But wait, there's more. Paano kung sabihin ko sa inyo na it also supports USB Type-C power delivery? Meaning, meaning, pwede na kaya siyang ma-charge using power bank? Tama yun na rinig nyo, power bank! Now here's Asus ROG Zephyrus S GX531GX, a laptop where portability meets performance, but may kailangan kayong malaman and aalamin natin yan mamaya. This is Pinoy Nose Tech. Noong unang panahon, merong Greek god of the west wind named Zephyrus, and boom! This laptop is named Zephyrus. What a coincidence! Mahangin siya for its scissor door hinges at dahil doon, nagkaroon siya ng more space to bend. And speaking of mahangin, this is the world's most thinnest gaming laptop. Sa loob nito, meron siyang active aerodynamic cooling system. Ibig sabihin nun, meron siyang dalawang 12 volts anti-dust cooling fans. And for optimum heat dissipation, may naka-install dyan na limang heat pipes which lead to four exterior heat sinks. All of these ventilation features lead to the very portable build of this very light 2.1 kg unit. Since malipis ang architecture nito, hindi na nila sinama yung SD card slot, Ethernet port, at display port. You have to buy separate dongles kung kailangan mo yung IO ports na wala. Both of the USB-C ports are not Thunderbolt 3. And yung nasa right side lang ang may power delivery. Power delivery? So worry no more! Kung nakalimutan ko yung AC power adapter, at wala akong banak maglaro, tapos may power bank ka with power delivery technology din, pwede mo na ma-extend ang battery life but not for intense CPU or GPU usage. Moving on sa working space, nakaiwala yung keyboard sa position ng CPU at GPU para hindi mainitan yung kamay mo kahit ilang oras ka pa naglalaro. Tingnan mo, ganun ka kamaan ni Asus. Pag magta-type or maglalaro ka, medyo awkward yung placement niya for me ha, unless meron kang keyboard distress. May pagkabayas din sa right hand gamers tong unit na to dahil sa position ng trackpad. Ang cool ng lampad niya pero pag ginamit mo siya, mahirap mag no eyes di tulad ng usual lampad kasi kabisado natin yung feel. At the end of the day, sanayan pa din naman yan. Magamos ka pa din habang naglaro. So, no biggie. Moving on sa display, this is not your typical display panel. This one is equipped with Phantom validated Full HD IPS panel with 240Hz refresh rate. At hindi lang yon, Super slim ng bezels niya. At para sa akin, nasa tamang placement yung webcam and yung microphone. Wala naman ako nakita ang screen bleed, pero it varies sa mga units. Since one of its selling point is yung refresh rate, so we conducted the test isang pagsusuri kung may observable nga bang difference between 144Hz and 240Hz. One of our team did the test setup for us using custom resolution utility. Naglaro kami ng CSGO nang wala kaming idea kung anong refresh rate ang nakaset sa monitor. 2 out of 3 people ang nakakuha ng sagot correctly. Siyempre, including me. After the test, it turns out na sobrang observable ng difference when using the 240Hz setting. Di ko kalain sobrang smooth sa mata, ang daling tumutok talaga. <laughs> of course, you might expect that this unit will sacrifice its performance to cope up with its thin and light build. But that's not the case thanks to RTX Max-Q design that made it possible for this slim unit to have a very powerful gaming performance. Hindi kasi kasya sa ganitong klaseng chassis ang regular RTX 2080. Although, mas mababa ng 15 to 20% in terms of performance ang Max-Q design. Unlike the previous Severus models, this unit has a Core i7 9th gen that can boost its clock speed up to 4.5 GHz. May nakalagay na 8 gigs of RAM at may isang available RAM slot. In this unit, may 16 gig na nakalagay sa available slot. So we have a total of 24 gig, which is also its maximum potential RAM upgrade. Here are the benchmark results. All tests performed were done with turbo mode on and vSync off. As you can see, napakataas ng performance niya kahit manipis ang build niya. But, 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 there is an issue We found some minimal thermal throttling in the temperature graphs. But again, you can resolve it by undervolting the CPU by 80 millivolts. Nung nag-undervolt kami, natanggal yung thermal throttling and at the same time, pati yung performance nag-increase. So overall, manipis, magaang, power bankable, therefore, ultra portable siya. Sa performance naman, it came out really strong. 
And syempre, in order for the performance to meet the portability, it does require a good ventilation which this unit has. Or maybe even the best. So kung meron mang magkukulang, love it or hate it, it is what it is. It is sexy and hot, but it does know how to chill. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell button as well so you won't miss another episode. Like, dislike, I don't care. Thank you and GG.